Well, hello there. We're going to play with EC2 some more today. Uh, let me finish getting things set up. I'm going to need a terminal today. Okay, so today I want to, let's just start on a new system. In fact, I might, <clears throat> I might terminate a couple of these. Um, let's get rid of the junk just for today. Those are ones that I can definitely terminate uh, so that I don't have to pay for them. Uh, that's always great not to have to pay for things. The other two I'm still using. So, uh, but I'm going to launch a new instance while those are terminating. And let's call this um, admi <laughs> administrative. I can't type today. Admins. We'll just call it admins. Okay. Linux, like always. And key pair. My personal key. And that's probably good. Launch instance. Okay. So a new instance. And that should be here shortly. So let's talk about what we're going to do today. <clears throat> we're going to set up a user that can do sudo. Okay. Um, now you should realize that there are different ways of doing this. Uh, we'll talk about a few of those. We'll show you a few things. There's also sometimes you don't even have to use sudo. Um, you could actually use a sticky bit if it's a program as well. Um, but, uh, so this is pending, but we do have an IP. Let's come back here. And it might be ready, it might not, let's see. It is happy day. Okay, so we're in. So let's first add a group. In fact, let's just do, um, yeah, let's add a group so we can add multiple people if we wanted to. So sudo <clears throat> group add, and let's call this admins, okay? And let's do user add, and we're gonna do uppercase G Sarah sudo user add uppercase g and i need to do admins first admins i did multiple things wrong there sarah um and then we'll do a lowercase g um for beth okay now let's look at those a little bit so if we sudo uh, cat etsy shadow we can see all that we can see sarah and beth are here okay and of course we don't have any passwords in here um we should use keys sometimes you need a password anyway for like sudo stuff but you should use ssh keys whenever possible um cool so we have that let's also look at Etsy password. So the shadow file is actually the one that contains the password. We'll actually show that in a little bit. But Etsy password used to, but it was it had it unencrypted, uh, and it doesn't have it anymore. So there's an X instead. If you look here, Sarah is 1001 and 1002, and Beth are, is those. If we do groups, Sarah and groups Beth, we can see that because of the way we created these, Sarah does still have a Sarah group. Beth does not have a Beth group. And so if we look back up, so uh, history pipe grep user add, we can see that Sarah we did it as a supplementary group where this, it was the primary group. It, it, so we didn't create the group Beth. Okay. So there's a difference between those two. Um, now let's look at the sudoers file. DI Etsy sudoers. Oop. Sudo. 
Okay, so this file actually has some examples. So for example, you can do admins equal something to set up an alias. Um, if we scroll down even further, there's examples of, um, of adding stuff for people. It's a little further down than I thought. Let's just keep going right here. Okay, so right here, this allows root to run all commands anywhere without a, uh, yes, and same with will. So this is for a user, and right here, this is a group, the group will. You see the percentage, uh, the percent sign before. So we can do users, we can do groups. Uh, same thing without a password, so you can say no password. Um, you can allow certain users to do certain things. So all of these. So I'd say this was a user, so this would be a group. And instead of all, all you have it set up differently to mount and unmount the CD-ROM as root. So user has been mount, mount CD-ROM. So that's the specific command that they can run. Um, so there's a lot of options here. But one of the things I always warn people, it's not good to change this file because this is a systems file with a patch there may be a new thing gets added and it overwrites what you've done. So instead, if you see here, read drop in files from Etsy sudoers D. So the, the pound here does not mean a comment and you see that's actually colored as well. So this is including a directory Etsy sudoers D. Let's go to that directory. So CD Etsy sudoers D. Permission denied. Sudo, you know what? Let's just, yeah, let's do sudo ls Etsy sudoers D. I'm doing sudo because it's best practice, and that way I'll be able to write, run my history and put it all on the bottom of the video. So look for my commands down below. Um, sudo so we see that there's this there let's look at that sudo vi so we can edit it if we wanted to actually we should probably just less it but you know sudo let's do less because we're not going to edit this file so it's better to do less if you're not going to edit okay so if you look here it's just a comment another comment and then Etsy, well, sorry, EC2 user, all, all, no password all. Cool. But this was created by Amazon when I created the system. It's created by CloudInit. So maybe what I should do is I can do, um, let's copy that. Sudo copy this to, let's call it um, <laughs> admins and now sudo vi admins and let's just say we want to so we could give let's give the group um, so I'm going to change this, by the way, um, because it was not created by them now. So this is now me. It's always good to put a comment here. Uh, created by me on the 3rd of March, 2023, for a YouTube video. Okay. And let's just give, let's only give access to... Um, let's say it to the group. Group. Group rules for admins. And so we want to change that to percent admins. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see if that works. So let's sudo su dash and let's do Sarah. And now if I try and sudo, uh, let's just do su dash. I can as Sarah, exit. Cool, <laughs> exit as Sarah. Let's just show you that it's working. So if I sudo user add another user, okay? And if I sudo su dash that another user, sudo su dash doesn't work. It wants a password, but it's not going to work anyway. Okay. Um, so what we did today, we started a new box, set up uh, admin users, set up a non-admin user, allowed the admin users to SU. Okay. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. I showed you a way that I think is a good way. I'm sure there's probably some better ways. Anyway, uh, check out the commands below and we'll see you in the next video.